श्री ओंकाराज इन्हे ओ उत्तरायन वसंत ऋतु चैत्रमास शुक्लपक्ष चतुर्दशी तिथि उत्तर फल्गुनी नक्षत्र ध्रिवयोग वनिककर्ण सौम्यवासर टुडे डेट फिफ्थ अप्रैल 2023 थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री वेडनेसडे तिथे श्रियमाती वारादायुष्यवर्धन नक्षत्राधरते पापं योगाद्रोग निवारणम करनात कार्य सिद्धिश्च पंचांग फलमुत्तमं सर्वेशां शुभमस्तु श्लोका फ्रॉम भगवत गीता चैप्टर एट श्लोका ट्वेंटी थ्री यत्र काले तनावृत्ति आवृत्ति चोगिना प्रतिपदा 
प्रयाता यांती तम कालम वक्ष्यामि भरतर सभा मीनिंग द एग्जैक्ट टाइम फॉर पासिंग फ्रॉम दिस वर्ल्ड फॉर दोज परफेक्टेड इन द साइंस ऑफ यूनाइटिंग द इंडिविजुअल कॉन्शसनेस विद द अल्टीमेट कॉन्शसनेस टू रिसीव लिबरेशन एंड द टाइम एट विच वन रिसीव रीबर्थ आई सेल नाउ डिस्क्राइब ओ अर्जुना esteemed friends today and the previous 3 days krishna deals with life and life after death there are three or four points point number 1 there are two things visible and invisible that can be seen that cannot be seen perceptible imperceptible that cannot be felt that which is felt tangible down to the earth you can touch it know it that cannot be touched and known so everywhere we have vyakta and avyakta vyakta is that which we can see vyakta is that which is tangible perceptible knowable seen i can be seen vyakti i am vyakta it is the post can be seen the atoms within cannot be seen vyaktam avyaktam that can be seen that cannot be seen similarly kshara akshara kshara is erasable delible removable replaceable akshara cannot be removed you write in the wind kshara it can be removed you take your finger and write it on the water kshara you engrave in a stone akshara that cannot be removed like that we have many pairs of words chuti achuti similarly you have khanda akhanda part full all the abstract statements are described by these words avyaktam akhandam anantam advitiyam agrahyam always you find a negative word for it because i have not seen it cannot be seen point number 1 world is seen world beyond is not seen life is seen life after death is not seen kshara akshara chuti achuti khanda akhanda anta ananta everywhere you find something indescribable agrahyam anirvachaniyam this point number 1 two we have three bodies everyone number one this is thola sharira two legs two hands two eyes this is the gross body g r o s s gross means that which we see which we can touch this is the gross body we have in this body there is a subtle body s u b t l e the body is on the bed you try to sleep in this sleep you wake up you dream swapna you think you read you write you play you enjoy you write so many things you are doing but the physical body is on the bed resting there is at another body moving doing reading writing that is a sukshma sharira this is sthula sharira that is a sukshma sharira at the time of death this body is dead 
mind is absent there is some other sharira called causal body c a u s a l karana sharira that shariram migrates trans migrates from this body to another body from this life to another life now sthula sharira sleeps comes back to the same sharira mind has the subtle body sukshma sharira it dreams comes back to the real body own body karana sharira that also comes to some other body trans migrates next point now krishna says you are returning to the same body sthula sharira is returning to the same shariram sukshma sharira is also re returning to the body karana sharira is also returning to some other body you don't want to return you don't want to come back you want to see what is that abhyaktam you want to see what is that invisible what is that hidden what is that abstract what is that eternity what is that pure consciousness what is that divinity that you can when think of me remember me antyakale at the time of death think of me with what with bhakti if you are a devotee you will be in a position to come to me abhyaktam you will be in a position to come to me akhandam anantam advitiyam daivam self realization emancipation it is salvation it is you can come to me so from vyakta to abhyakta we move from the visible to the invisible we move what are the things body all the three bodies can be dropped sthula shariram sukshma shariram karana shariram can be dropped and we can merge with the cosmic consciousness we can have our meeting place there ananta advitiya akhanda aishwarya ananda sagaram amruta ananda abdhi we can go we can enjoy that what is that secret sir think of me has anyone thought of you like that yes bhakti prahlad the materialist father asked where is that god the atheist hiranyakashipu asked where is that abhyaktam and agnostic asked where is that invisible thing indu galadu andu ledu here he is here he is not doubt you need not entertain god is everywhere abhyaktam is present everywhere adhyatmikam is present everywhere bhagavan is present everywhere god is ever everywhere then hiranyakashipu asked can you show me in this pillar yes and it was broken vyaktam vishnu came in the form of narasimha how can you get that return to this journey with pleasure as the doer of god's work that is by your self realization sri ramakrishna paramahamsa says let us reach that highest state of a pure consciousness from the known to the unknown from the seen to the unseen through devotion bhakti gnanam gnaninah tatvadarshinah a gnani is capable of seeing that invisible unknown akhanda ananda advitiya parabrahma vastu and then we become instruments in the hands of the almighty to do the divine work the entire message when do we slip into that when do we enter into that can we say at what time we enter into the sleep we cannot similarly can we say at what point of time we enter into death no we cannot when do we have that bhagavat sakshatkar it is by his grace we can enter into that state and may we all in the next few slokas listen to sri krishna the description of that time 
when we actually actually enter into that brahmananda sthiti samadhi sthiti the three points i have tried to highlight number 1 vyakta avyakta number 2 sthula sukshma karana sharira number 3 how are we to get rid of this bondage cyclic bondage of all the three shariras only by bhakti and yajna jnana and that is called yoga tasmat yogi bhava arjuna therefore krishna asks if you want to reach that highest state may you be a yogi may you be a bhakta may you be a gnani may you be enlightened surrender yourself having come to prashanti let us understand the spirit of the bhagavad gita let us be rid of this bondage sharira and the world let us be established immersed in that state of akhanda ananta advitiya anirvachaniya ananda sthiti samadhi sthiti hari om tat sat thank you very much hari om uh, we are happy to introduce two new members who have joined the uh, uh, family of faculty of eswasa uh, i would like to request dr prashant who has joined as an associate professor in the department of physiotherapy and he is a very accomplished person and he has got 22 years of experience he was a principal in many colleges and rich experience i would request him to hoist the flag after the thought for the day we also have another assistant professor dr jishnu who has also joined very accomplished person joined in the department of physiotherapy thank you we can have our uh, thought for the day after which i would like to call mr shreyas from md batch for the thought of the day good morning everyone uh, thought of the day is by einstein he said the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different outcome so if we do the same thing and we are always expecting a different outcome it means there is some fault in our belief system that we need, we need to address thank you let's conclude with the shanti mantra om sarve bhavan सुखिनर्वे सन्तु निरामे भद्रा पश्यंत मचि दुख भवे ओ शाति 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 रिक्वेस्ट टू प्रशांत सर टू लाइक द होस्ट होस्ट ऑफ साइन जनगण मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंग उच्छल जलधितरंगा तब शुभ नामे जागे तब शुभ आशीष मांगे गाहे तब जय गाथा जनगण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे भारत माता की भारत माता की